It's a safari for science in South Africa's largest big game reserve. Iconic mammals protected from poachers and extinction. This trek is in search for species that have yet to be discovered, neither big nor game. I believe this is an armored cricket. This Canadian biologist works with South African researchers and rangers to chronicle every insect species in Kruger National Park. Using special tents like this one, insects are herded together and captured, then bagged and sent to Canada for identification. Teams of researchers at Guelph University painstakingly document each creature. The more they analyze, the more species they discover and learn about the amazing diversity of the insect universe before it's lost. So far, we've processed about 250,000 insects. Um, and we're kind of in the middle of, of this um, sequencing process. But so far, we are seeing uh, roughly 7,000 different species. And this is more than they've ever seen in Kruger. For the rangers back in South Africa, who are usually focused on stopping poachers, this project has opened their eyes to all the other species living in plain sight. This diagram. But it's not discovery for the sake of discovery. It can lead to new clues about how diseases are spread. A lot of the rangers were really interested to know whether we could help them with some sort of prediction of outbreaks. When are these insects in the largest abundances? Where is this happening? In another lab at the university, DNA extraction is underway to create a unique color barcode for every species of plant and animal on Earth. Scientists have been trying to identify and classify all living things for more than 200 years since the first book on modern taxonomy was published. New technology means it's cheaper and faster to sequence DNA, so this project is now doing taxonomy at light speed. You've got a specimen, you want its DNA, that's how you begin the barcoding process. Next step, take a tiny amount of that DNA and Xerox copy the barcode region. Paul Hebert is considered the father of the barcode of life. As the international head of the project, it was his vision to discover and document every multicellular organism on Earth to better understand ecosystems and to protect them. You have your cicadas here. So far, 600,000 unique plants, bugs and animals have been barcoded. After almost a decade of this work, the research subjects are getting smaller, but no less important to their ecosystems. We have 200 mammal species in Canada. We have about 450 resident species of birds. Well, there's one tiny group of flies called gall midges, and we believe based on DNA analysis that there are 20,000 species in that one family of fly alone. And now the barcode of life is about to get a lot bigger. This month, partners from more than 30 countries begin gathering specimens from 2,500 sites around the world, creating barcodes for 2 million more species. And a sobering truth about our planet's biodiversity has added new urgency to the project. We're at risk of erasing the books of life without ever reading them. The projection is eight of the species on our planet, a million, two million species could be lost this century. I think it's a, an imperative that we protect those DNA extracts so we can read their entire genomes at leisure sometime in the future. And that's the reality for which scientists are now planning as they race to complete the final chapters of those books of life because we can't protect what we don't know about and there's still so much more to know. Vicadopia, CBC News, Guelph, Ontario.